We have had so many amazing panelists on the show, comedians, actors, directors, musicians, uh, a couple of Instagram kids. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> one of my all-time favorite guests is back on tonight. He's a senator who can summon birds, turns regular skin into liver spots, and makes socialists rock hard. Please welcome <laughs> Bernie Sanders! <laughs> It's a little bit of everything going on here right now. All right, great. <laughs> so, <laughs> where's the microphone? Right there, yeah. Stop right in the right in the they woke me up for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're still waking up. Senator Sanders, uh, oh, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little bit regular. <laughs> Which I uh, hear is the new regular. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Enough chit chat. Christopher, I have news, and it's a story I gotta tell you about because people need the facts. All right. Millennials, you've heard of them. They love avocados. They eat them for every meal. They buy them instead of houses. <laughs> they have even been known to watch live streams of avocados turning brown. <laughs> but, <laughs> what people do not realize, Christopher, is that millennials did not invent avocado toast. What are you talking about, Bernard? Look, listen to the facts. The San Francisco Chronicle published a recipe for avocado toast in 1927. That's the year that I graduated from law school. Right. There it is, avocado on toast. In 90 season. years ago this September. <laughs> this recipe proves that millennials are just taking things from generations that came before them, like fedoras and crushing national debt. By the way, that includes other trends like ghosting. In fact, I ghosted Jesus once. <laughs> and then he wholly ghosted me. But oh. Okay, okay. It's a long story. I don't want to get into it, Christopher. Also, look, I rode <laughs> a penny farthing bicycle back when it was known as just a bicycle. <laughs> I was using emoji back when they were called Jeez. hieroglyphics. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>